Repair of 90-year-old riveted steel penstock with carbon FRP. Salt River Project, or SRP, is the oldest multi-purpose federal reclamation project in the U.S., serving central Arizona since 1903, nearly 10 years before Arizona became the 48th state. Today, the SRP Power District is one of the nation's largest public power utilities, providing electricity to nearly a million customers. Mormon Flat Dam is located on the Salt River about 50 miles northeast of Phoenix, Arizona. The dam was built in the mid-1920s and it is equipped with two hydroelectric generating units. One is a conventional unit rated at 10,000 kilowatt. The penstock consists of two 96-inch diameter pipes that merge in a Y connection into a single 120-inch diameter pipe while dropping 20 feet in elevation. All pipes were made with 5 8 inch thick riveted steel. About 15 feet of 96-inch diameter and 45 feet of 120-inch diameter of the penstock are exposed. Thickness sampling was randomly obtained, indicating that the tar-coated pipe had lost as much as 50% of its original wall thickness in some areas. The consultant had recommended for the replacement of the penstock with a new one. However, considering the cost and time for replacement, SRP's management team decided to repair the pipe with carbon FRP. Three companies were invited to bid the job, and SRP awarded the QuakeRap Inc. FRP Construction LLC team the design-build contract. Access was available through a 24-inch diameter opening, making this a truly trenchless repair. This complicated geometry of the pipes, the 1.25-mile winding road down the steep mountain, and the limited staging area also proved to be challenging. Construction milestones included Provide forced air and monitor air quality per confined space protocol. Set up scaffolding to reach all points inside the pipes. Surface prep to near white condition. This included Remove a 2 inch thick layer of coal tar by chipping. Use a special media to blast to near white and neutralize any harmful dust during the removal of the remaining coal tar. Use thickened epoxy and fabric to build up the surface around rivets that protruded from the surface up by as much as 1.5 inches. Apply one layer of chopped glass mat as dielectric barrier to entire pipe. Apply carbon FRP layers per design requirements in longitudinal and hoop directions. Seal all seams with thickened epoxy. Install Wico seal on leading edge. Apply a final 40 mil thick top coat for abrasion resistance with pneumatic pump. The 60 foot long repair was successfully completed in March 2015 during a scheduled three week shutdown at a cost of nearly $350,000. The cost to replace the penstocks, as suggested by the consultants, was over $3 million. Please watch videos of other similar projects on our YouTube channel.